and welcome to Ginger Welsh Allotments. I am Bethan and I was hoping to do a vlog from the plot today but it is raining pouring which is good actually because it's been so um, sunny that all the ground has got very dry so a bit of rain will be good as I need to turn the soil soon to um, make some new raised beds but anyway I've been forced inside, which isn't a bad thing because I've got an awful lot to do inside as well. And I'm going to start by um, do, uh, doing my sweet corn today. So I last year I planted my sweet corn into root trainers, straight into the soil, and I had very poor germination. And then I saw another method online, which was to put them on some... Uh, kitchen towel and just spray them so that they are moist and then put the lid on and leave them in a sunny area or a warm area and the ones that start sprouting plant them and the ones that don't start sprouting discard them so I'm going to do the same method now and I'll show you how I'm doing it I've also got my main crop potatoes which I'm going to plant. I plant them in pots or um, bags, containers anyway, so I can do them in the house as well. And I've also got my tomato plants that I need to pot on. And I've got my seed box which I need to go through as a lot of my seeds have not germinated. Some have germinated and they're going really strong but some of my butternut squash and pumpkin and a couple of the cucumber plants haven't germinated. So I need to re-sow what hasn't germinated. So I'll have a little look through them today and um, try and get on top of what needs sowing and what needs potting on. So to the sweet corn, the variety I've got is Lark, F1 variety. So, as I said, I'm just going to sprinkle the kernels onto the paper. I'm going to do the whole packet as sweet corn doesn't um, last very long. So you might as well sow the whole packet. And let's face it, who doesn't like a load of sweet corn? Spray it with the water so that it's moist. Not soaking, just moist. Put the lids on and then just leave it somewhere warm. Now I'll get on with doing my potatoes. I started planting my second earlies the other day and I planted them all and I moved on to doing the main crop but I'd run out of potato fertiliser so I did go to um, buy some more potato fertiliser but then I remembered that I had some chicken manure pellets so I thought well I'll give them a go rather than spend more money on potato fertiliser so I've got the... where are they? I've got the chicken manure pellets here and I'll crack on with planting the potatoes. I've got my nice marigolds on because this soil is really damp. As I said I prepared it a few days ago and then um, ran out of the fertiliser. So I'm just going to mix it all in, mix all the chicken manure in, make sure I get right down to the bottom as well. And then, as you can see, seed potatoes got a good old sprout on it there. So I'll just dig a hole. And cover it over. And when you see the green growth start to th show through, just cover it up again. And I'll probably cover it to about an inch from the top of the pot. 
Now, just a quick word on pots. When you buy your pot, um, be careful. As you can see, this one tapers in a bit. So although the um, top of the pot, you'd probably think, oh, I could get two seed potatoes in there. Because the bottom tapers in so much, you can only really get one seed potato in there. So, uh, which is fine because I only wanted to plant the one in here. But if, uh, just so that if you were planting in pots, just beware when you pick your pot to be careful of the tapering issue. And while I'm on the subject of pots, I bought this pot, well I bought two of them this morning. And it's got a reservoir in the bottom. So I'm going to plant three of my seed potatoes in this one, three of my sarpomeras and I shall then see um, whether the reservoir does any good. I bought two of these pots and I think ultimately I'm going to put my blueberry bushes in there. I've got two blueberry bushes and they take ericaceous soil, acid soil, so they can't go in the ground like most fruit bushes can. So I shall probably earmark them for the um, blueberry bushes. But for now they're going to be for the potatoes because my blueberry bushes are not that big and they'll be a bit drowned if I put them straight into that pot. So I'm going to get on now with the rest of my potatoes and I'll show you when I'm done. That's all the potatoes done now. That's every potato planted that I'm going to plant this year. Um, so I've got my three bags of charlottes, my five Nicola, my five Cara, um, these are all seed potatoes I'm saying five of, uh, eight Sarpomira and ten Maris Piper. So hopefully between them all I'll get a good enough yield. Now the final thing I'm going to show you today are my tomatoes. And these are the ones that I planted early, um, that I thought, oh dear, I've planted them a bit early. But they have come on. These are the, um, uh, these are the Gardener's Delight. And these are actually from seed that I saved myself last year. So I'm quite pleased that I've managed to grow them. Um, but I don't think I'll be saving any seed again this year as I've, I've got loads of it still that I haven't planted um, but I need to pot them on now because the roots are showing at the bottom of the pot and also it's beginning to get a bit so that means that I need to pot it on and stake it so I have done some um, which I didn't have that many stakes on me so I've ended up using bamboo skewers that you use on a barbecue. Uh, this variety is red cherry and the red cherry seem to have grown the largest the quickest. So let me just see if I can... So I've staked it and all I've done is I've tied the string around the stake and then I've put a bow so that I can loosen it quite easily. And I've done two, two, um, two bows at the moment, one at the top and one at the bottom, just so that it grows up straight. And I've potted it on into a bigger pot. So hopefully they'll be happy for a little while. Um, I'm not sure when they're to be planted out, but I need to prepare the ground first, which I won't be doing today as it's raining and pouring. Um, but I am going to get on with potting on the other tomatoes and I've had some bad news with my celery. I put the celery and the celeriac in my greenhouse. They were on the windowsill and they were doing really well but I thought oh I better put them out into my greenhouse to harden them off. My greenhouse isn't heated so I thought oh I'll put them out and the weather turned really warm and in one day I lost almost all of my celery. Um, I cut off the worst bits that had wilted and I can save some but from the 24 plants I had I've now only got 12. 
So that was a bit of a blow, but the celeriac is loving it in the top um, shelf of the greenhouse. It's going mental in there. So I don't know about what to say about the celery. Um, I did have a look in the garden centre to see if I could buy some plug plants, but you can't. I think celery is one of those ones you've got to grow yourself from seed. And I think it might possibly be a bit too late to replant some more celery. So we'll hopefully just grow a good batch of what's left. Uh, oh, and one final thing, I have invested my money in a put up greenhouse, which I'll show you now. Apologies if you can hear the rain, but I'm in the conservatory. Here is my put up greenhouse, which is gonna go outside next to the other two greenhouses but it is a bit flimsy. So I just need to put some screws in the joints. It does say you don't need it, but I feel like it does need it. So before I put it outside, as my husband did put it outside the other day, and the next thing we knew, he was running into my neighbor's garden to get it out as it had blown over and disassembled itself. So I thought, right, well, I'll, I'll screw in the connecting bits um, once I've done that and, and put a weight on the bottom. Once I've done that, it should be good to go. At the moment, my peppers are in here and um, some sweet peas I bought from the garden centre as my sweet peas are just atrocious. They're, they're rubbish. Um, and what else? Some petunias in there and some thyme and some mange too. So they'll all be going out hopefully soon but I need to get the drill and screw it in the bits. So that's it for me for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching and um, hopefully we'll get over to the plot soon. But all I can say for that is lovely job! <laughs>